Hello my friends, my name is Agata but you can know me as Kurkoko and this is my the second tutorial in English because in the last one with long beats you can send me so much love in the comments and the private message so I just think that maybe I can uh, make another one. If you want to see my previous tutorial in English you can click right here. Just click. And in this area you can click the subtitles button so when you click them you will see the subtitles. It's actually logical. <laughs> so in this lesson, in this tutorial, we will learn the next thing from the beading and it's actually the really simple thing you can use as earrings, as necklace or anything you want. And just before we are going to the materials you can hit the subscribe button and give me a really big subscribe. That's all. So we can go to the materials. Let's go. Okay, if you want to make something like this, you need two kinds of beads. The first one, it's actually fire poly size 4 millimeters. You can use any kind of crystal you want, but I think the fire polish is the best. You need 27 of those. And the second one is actually a seed beads. I will using size 11 from Toho and you need a few of them okay i don't count how many because it's yeah you don't you don't need to count of them you need actually a some and i will using two colors it's easier for me to teach you in two colors but you can use one also you need some bit thread or something like this to uh, to sew with it and i will using uh, it's in Polish it's żyłka. Um, I have no idea how it's called uh, in English but I think in subtitles you will you can read because I will translate it. Yeah it's a polamiden thread. Okay yeah so so kind of this is actually in this size and of course you will need some needles it's actually easier when you're uh, waving with beading needles because yeah we are using beads so we are we need to use some beading needles and mine is from beadsmith and it's size 12. so let's start i have some thread on my needle and in the first row we need nine fire polish separate with uh, Toho beads. So we need to put nine fire polish. So I have nine fire polish and between each one I have one seed beads. So now in my left hand I have end of my thread and in my right hand I have a thread when my needle are, when my needle is. So now this is end and this is the beginning. So now I will sew them one more time in a round. So this is the beginning, this is the end. And I sew every bit again. And when I reach the end, I will have something like this, this beautiful circle. And now I just waving uh, one, maybe two knots in this uh, two piece of thread, just to secure my thread. And now this step is actually really important because my needle with my thread must be in the toho beads, in the seed beads. So if you are now in fire polish, just sew another bead. To have uh, something like this. Now my thread is in this bead. So the 
second row is really easy. We need to put five Toho beads or five seed beads if you're not using Toho and sew to the next seed bead. And I will using a different color and I will put two gray, one this it actually looks like black, but it's uh, dark green, I think, maybe dark blue. And uh, two green, uh, two gray again. But you can use just five in one color. So my sequence of beads look like this. It's five beads, two gray, one dark and two gray again. And I need to sew them into next seed bead and I sew only seed bead it's supposed to look like this and I just turn turn my work and again pick five more beads and sew through the next seed bead And I need to make this all around till this spot. So five more beads, sewing through this one bead, five more and you know, all around. So now I will sew the last five of them. And in this bead I have my thread and I have five beads on my thread and I will sew so the this one is actually the first bit when we beginning. So I sew to this bit. Or I will try to sew to the this bit. Give me a minute. And when I have this one is look actually really pretty i think like a star <laughs> so when i have this the last five of my beads i need to go up to the third bead from the five that we just saw and i i use the different color of them but if you use one color, you just need to count them. It's one, two, three, and we need to sew to them. So one, two, three. It's actually the upper one. If you look like this, it's the upper one. And this next row is really, really simple. We need to pick up one seed bead, one crystal is actually fire polish, and one seed bead again. So we need to pick up beads in this sequence. We are in the third bead and we need to sew in next third bead. So in my example, we we are in the, the dark one and we need to sew to, to another dark one. like this and we repeat that so we have one seed bead one fire polish and one seed bead our thread is in this bead and we sew to the this one it's the third one And we need to repeat all around. And now I have my last sequence, chili, chili. <laughs> I'm sorry that I just mix up two language. So I have <laughs> one sequence, which is uh, seed beads, fire polish and seed beads. And I'm in this bead. The 
the third one, the third one, and I want to be in this bit. So I just need to sew two. And it actually look really pretty too. <laughs> to begin the next row, we actually don't need to, throw, to sew through another bit because we need to be in this dark one, this uh, the upper one. And now we are going to pick up five more beads and we are using the seed beads one. And again, I will pick the two gray, one dark and two gray. So I have five seed beads and right now I'm in this dark one, but I want to be in this dark one, but I need to ignore the row that, are, that we are sewing now. So. I'm in here, but I want to be right here. So I sew, I sew, actually I sew to them. To make something like this. And I pick another five bits. And once again, I'm in this bit, but I want to be in this bit this darker one. So I sew to this darker one. Like this. And we need to repeat all around. So now I need to sew the last seed beads. So again, I have five of them and I am now in this dark one bit, but I want to be in this dark one. So I need just to sew to this one. And this row looks just like the crown for our beads and it's really pretty too. And now when we have this, we need to make the last row. And we are now in this dark bead, but we need to be in this third bead. This, when we saw the five of them, we need to count one, two, three. And my is the dark one. And we need to sew through the bits just to be in this the bigger the upper one actually and this is really really simple because we need to pick one fire polish bit and when we are in this dark one we need to sew to the next dark one to the next Third bit. So we sew actually to make something like this. And we need to pull our thread really hard and repeat. So now we are in this dark bit, but we want to be in the next dark bit. And we are going to repeat this step all over. So now I just going to sew the last fire polish. And now I'm in this bit, but I want to be in this bit. So I just sew to this bit. And it's actually the final look, but I want to sew through the last beads one more time just to be sure to secure my thread and to make sh and to be sure actually that my work are not too to loose i think this is the word that i'm looking for so i just sew to the 
all the bits, all the seed bits and the fire polish in the last row. And when I have this, I just sew through the beads just to go up. It's no matter uh, which kind of bead you are going to sew, it's actually really important to remember that you need to sew uh, the way that the thread is invisible. So you need to hide the thread in the beads. Like this. And now I'm going to sew down just to go to the, the loose one. It's actually the tail of my thread. So when the end of my thread meets with the other <laughs> end of my thread, I just tie uh, two or one little knots. and hide them in the bits. So I just sew to the few of the bits. Maybe one more. And now I can cut the thread out. Bye bye thread. And this is the final look. So it's really easy to sew and it look really beautiful. If you want to make the smaller one, you can use the smaller bits. This is fire polish size 3 millimeters and seed bit size 15. Or you can uh, use uh, 5 or 7 fire polish in the beginning, not the 9. Good work, everybody. I'm so proud of you. Wow, it's look, it's look really pretty. You can use this in earrings. You can just, you know, sew a lots of them and make necklace. You can use this kind of stuff in lots of projects. As you can see, this kind of beading pedals, it's actually really easy to sew and it's really really pretty and you can use any kind of crystals and seed beads you actually have so it's really nice thing to do if you want more tutorials in english just subscribe this channel and of course you can give me a big thumbs up thumbs up thumbs it's really funny word in polish thumbs means uh, kciuki so give me a big kciuki <laughs> and we are going to learn something more you can uh, choose from beading from jewelry making or from crochet just write me in the comment what do you want to learn with me in english because in this channel i have much more tutorials in polish so if you can uh, speak or if you can talk in polish so you can just Look what I have here. Oh my God, I just sound like a robot. <laughs> I know that. And uh, lots of you just write me, where are you from? So if you're new here, just write in the comment section from which country you are, because I'm from Poland and I'm really curious to know where are my Beats friends live. Yeah, like a robot, actually. Really pretty robot. So, see you the next time. Bye, my friends.